What do you think men in Miami are looking for? I'm not from Miami, but they're looking for us. Hot young women. If you were, yeah, a hot, sexy woman, you know. That's it. Do you consider yourself hot, sexy woman? Yeah. <laughs> we are. So you could feel like you could get it whenever you want to? I would say so. It doesn't take too much to find it. Yeah, you know? Not always what I want, yeah. but if I want like if anything, want, it would be really easy. Part. But while like I'm looking for, it's not that easy. You think a man's experience is the same, where he could just get it at a drop of a hat? No, definitely not. I think women they pick and choose who they want. A man, it's kind of like oh, he if you yeah, you know, you, he just gets whatever he can get right. most of the times. Do you think that's part of the reason why men tend to care more about body count than women do? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think so interesting some women with some damn logic imagine that what's going on youtube is your boy ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe this was a little bit of ref refreshing as far as the reaction that you get from women when it comes to body count ladies this is just one of a few reasons why men seem to care about body count more than y'all do i'm gonna break this down in a more um <laughs> remedial way so that way it's a little bit more digestible um but the ladies here however they understand the dynamic so i got a couple more clips i want to play for you guys one of them is actually kind of long <laughs> and it's destiny's wife of all people oh god man all right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the next video you know what really bugs me and I don't care if I'm breaking the girl code by saying this because you girls are breaking a moral code by lying to men. I literally always see women lying to men and you know what they lie about specifically? Their body count. So how is that fair when you expect men to be honest with you? If your body count doesn't matter and it's so empowering and your past doesn't matter to you, then why are you lying to men about it? because you know it matters. So you make these bad decisions and then later on, instead of just owning up to it, you think that lying to men is the solution? No, men aren't stupid. They can tell what kind of girl a girl is. They can see right through your lies. So the only person you're lying to is yourself. And don't complain when a guy stops talking to you and then blame him and play victim because you're just mad that you couldn't trick him. So if you're not ashamed of your high body count and you're not ashamed of your one night stands, then stop lying to guys. Tell them the truth. See how long they stick around without your little lies. The past matters to men and whether or not you trick them in the beginning, they're going to see right through it and they're going to figure it out. So either make better decisions in your life or just be honest and own up to it and stop lying to men. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, when it comes to men, that lady is preaching to the choir. And I, I mean, really, I think women should be a lot more honest about their body count if y'all are so empowered. Because don't y'all find that a little bit strange? <laughs> they have all these excuses on why it shouldn't matter, but yet they never want to tell you what their body count is well let me put it to you like this if a woman has a high body count and she doesn't want to tell you nine times out of ten that shit probably high it's probably pretty high she belongs to the streets but i always found that weird man i'm like what well, was well, what's the point of y'all being so empowered if y'all can't even be honest about how many got how many people y'all slept with and then y'all turn around and ask men what their body count is and if you notice men are not as hesitant to tell you what our body count is and part of the reason why is because we actually have to go out there and be something <laughs> in order to get it that's why i played that first clip for you guys man those women get it they know how easy it is for the for them to get sex no notice the the lady in, in the first clip she said 
what I what I'm looking for is hard to get but yeah if I want to just get it it's easy and y'all over here talking about your past don't matter yes it does again that's why I played the first clip it's easier for y'all to get why because y'all control access to it why in the hell should I sit over here and worship you for what's easy for you to get that's why men care let's keep it moving understand why guys um would have a problem with a, with a woman with a high body count though do you understand the logic behind it i think it's insecurity that's where it comes insecurity. from i think it's insecurity that's where it comes from you lose you stupid you must unlearn what you have learned man look here bro destiny get your wife just, just t tell her don't do any more podcast. I think, I think it's insecurity. I think that's where it comes from. It's like, bro, dude, she is the typical bot, man. The first thing that she want to do is go to the sign language. Insecurity, insecurity, y'all, y'all kill me with that, man. So, me liking another uh, Instagram model's pic you getting upset about it and you feeling a way about it that's not you being insecure but if i want a woman that hasn't been in the streets i'm insecure you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up y'all heard it that 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 that's female logic for you today man Let, let's keep it moving it's like fine. do they really want to have a woman that is just a virgin Cause she's not gonna be good and she's gonna have no experience they don't and... need you to be good though I mean, that's so boring isn't that it's boring? boring that's so boring i'll tell you what, that's so boring. like just that just sounds transactional to me it just sounds so boring i don't know it's, that's very strange to yeah. me it sounds transactional for a virgin i like you because be you haven't been with experience. anyone it, yeah it's like you haven't been to it i don't that's why i like you i think that's crazy i don't know i don't that doesn't make sense to me at all well you can you must unlearn what you have learned. Bro, only a 304 would talk like that. I like you because you haven't been with anybody. I like you because you... You're seriously putting down men who want women that haven't been with a whole bunch of dudes. That's what we're doing. There's something wrong with me liking a girl that values her womb that value sex see and this is what I mean when I say y'all better hope prostitution don't come legal why y'all over here sitting talking about transactional it doesn't get no more transactional than that so for you to sit over here and say that's transactional man I'm, I'm telling you they, they 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 better they better hope that don't come legal man cuz I'm like the value the, the the value of the womb is already pretty low as is and clearly based on how she's reacting to this topic lets you know that let's keep it moving can understand first of all if they're religious that that comes from a different place right so yeah if that's of course it, yeah okay mm -hmm. so guys that are alpha guys that are you know um want to be you know head of household and consider themselves leaders and want to you know provide for their women and they don't they don't find it unattractive that a woman would have inexperience because they feel like, you know, what's going to make that experience in the bedroom so powerful is not that she can bounce off the walls or knows all these tricks or knows all these sexual things. And, oh, she looks, oh, look, she's doing something like out of a porno. You know, that's not what's appealing to them. What's appealing is that she's really excited to be there for him. She's present. She's loyal. She's committed. And he doesn't need her to be an acrobat. He just needs her to be loyal. So that's where they're coming from. It's not appealing. The, the, the sexual promiscuity actually is a turnoff because then that means if she's doing all this stuff, she got a lot of practice with all these other guys. That's not special to me anymore. That's not, that's somebody who's more likely is, to Are we talking about stray. sex or dating? Sex. I'm talking okay. about sex. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to assume that they're probably dating. If, if she's gone to that step, they're probably dating, right? Probably. I mean, you never know. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't, I, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> you don't see well, that about to count. No, because. You stupid. And I'm sorry, you guys. This is like eight and a half minutes long. I'm not going to waste any more time. 
you know what I rarely don't do this but this particular clip I'll try to remember to leave the link because it is like eight and a half minutes long I'm not about to react to it all because otherwise this video will be about 20 minutes long but it just goes to show you man you cannot have this kind of conversation with a promiscuous woman destiny's wife is a promiscuous woman this woman literally left her ex-boyfriend to be with destiny and she screws other people that and they're in an open relationship so it's like having this conversation with a woman like her is pointless you're talking to a woman that's in an open relationship with a dork who I think is bisexual so it's like from what I can tell and from what I know I think both of them go both ways so hopefully they are being safe because I'm like y'all are even more at risk to catch something if both of y'all mess with both genders so it's like do women like her are a lost cause you're, you're not going to get through to them because 304 is life for them I mean, ain't nothing you could say about them. But ladies, let me put it to you down this easy, bro. Men control access to relationships and marriage. Y'all control access to sex. The ladies in the first clip said it all. It's a lot. It's, we can get it at the drop of a hat. We can get it whenever we want. Men, they, they get what they can. You can't sit over here and say that women can get it whenever they want, men can, can get it when they can, and then can't expect men to want a woman with a low body count when we know how easy it is for y'all to get it because all men want sex and we don't control access to it. Men don't even respect what comes easy for other men. You think men are going to respect what comes easy for women? No, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. It's nature. Y'all just need to learn to accept that and quit trying to change and trick men into being okay with this. Because another thing that I didn't even bring up is the fact that y'all, and I think, well, actually, she just brought it up. Um, the other lady that's interviewing Destiny's uh, wife. Because I'm like, because the women are less likely to stray when they haven't been with a whole bunch of dudes. Like, that's another reason why. Pair bonding. Women really need to start looking up pair bonding and understanding what that means. Because I find it real funny, y'all so quick to y'all so quick to throw out these buzzwords like misogyny, narcissists. Y'all don't even know what these what these words really mean. But then when you throw out pair bonding in this topic, women never even heard of the term pair bonding. So I'm like, it's some women out here that need to do their homework before they just jump on here and run their mouth and bump their guns. Miss Femme in the chat. Yeah, I see you. Oh my god, man. It's like they say, bro. If you you if you ain't got a hater, you ain't doing it right, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, bro. Um, if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification that way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the travel vlog channel. Unplug Traveler link is in the description and pinned to the comments as well as my latest mixtape Lost Music Volume 1 and if you want to purchase any of the merch check out the Spreadshot.com link in the, in the description. Until the next video y'all, deuces.